Yeah, I'll scoop down just a little bit. Just a little bit? Yes, yeah, Lord. Is that good? Scoop down just some more. A little All bit right. more. What's just that? a little dip tip. Come on. Right. All right. What's going that on? Better? Yeah. You good? What's going on, everybody? You need bachelors and perform art to have a TV show. Uh, I don't think no, so. You, no, you don't, Beth, but thank you. All right, shout out, y'all. Uh, what's going on, everybody, as you come in? Um, let us know. What state are we in? We're in Georgia. Y'all don't know Jackson, we're in Atlanta. Atlanta. Come on, I answer no dumb questions tonight. Come on. <laughs> Anybody answer no dumb questions tonight. Y'all come on in As y'all come in, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Um, and come on, let everybody know what the best channel is on YouTube. We're going to be getting into some talking real good tonight. Y'all see the topic. Y'all seen that thumbnail. Y'all already know what it is. But come on in here. I'm eating my little gummies. Y'all pray for me because I just got home. Can I get one? But we wanted to be obedient and get on here. No, not obedient. Huh? Not obedient. Yeah, we want to be obedient. Y'all come on in here. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. It is Sunday, the beginning of the week. Yes. What y'all do this weekend? Come on in the room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Julian. Yeah, where is everybody else? What state everybody else in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Julian. Julian was asking that question. I'm going to let y'all see the babies here in a minute. Yes, y'all. Make sure as you chime in, you let us know where you're watching from, what city, what state. Um, let us know what time it is where y'all watching at. Because um, I know everywhere is like a different time, obviously. Um, let us know 8.40. Okay. Is 8.40 here? No, it's not. What time is it? 9.40. Okay, behind. they're an hour behind. Yep. Baltimore's in the house. Come on in, Baltimore, Montgomery, Alabama. Come on, Ali Ali Alicia. Jay, Renee, y'all come on in. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Listen, I am more out from this weekend. Well, I ain't been doing nothing this weekend. We been doing stuff. I ain't doing nothing this weekend. What we do? What we do? I'm just tired from resting. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I've been watching Ozark. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh -oh Boy, Lord, you ripping stuff. Boy, son. you better stop ripping my notebook. Give him, give him a, he ripping stuff. Come on, some up. Uh. Um, I've been watching Ozark. Yes. Uh, which has been off the chain on um Netflix. Netflix. Comment down below if y'all watch Ozark. Um, Corey Coleman. He, I think he said, "Yo, what's up?" What's going on with your boss? Um, say hello. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Say hello. Hello, look to you. Look. Tayo ain't for it right now. My little want to say be seen. Say hey. Hey, hey everybody. Say what's going on? Oh, there you go. He waving y'all. You see, you see, tell him say hello. Say hello. No, oh, Tayo wanna say hey now. Say hey, Tayo. <laughs> say hey. Say hey, Tayo. Hey, say hello. Say hey. Uh -oh, oh, there you, you go. You try to get it through the try to be three D. Somebody said, where's Marcel? Marcel and Justin. Uh they one thing about Marcel and Justin, they love to watch TV. They are in their room <laughs> with the television on. Mm. Mm -hmm. With their Netflix and shoot, that's what their pappy gonna be doing too. Anyway, y'all hit the like button, hit the share button, let everybody know that we are on tonight. Look at these babies. <laughs> How you doing? Say hey, <laughs> hey. You're your crazy self. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all let us know uh, how was your weekend as well. Was mm -hmm. it good? Y'all. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that like button. Mm -mm. Hit that like. They had nothing to communion. How's the dogs and the cats, y'all? So we ended up not keeping the dogs, y'all. They were so cute, but we didn't keep them because we got enough going on. We do. Mm -hmm. uh, but the cats, we still got the cats because the cats are self-sufficient. So yeah. it was it was easier. But definitely recommend you guys getting a dog from them or dogs. Them dogs are amazing. Yeah. But it just won't. Mm -mm. Y'all go get y'all one of them puppies. Yes. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Hit the like button. Stop what you're doing and hit the like button. Um, and we hope you guys have had a good weekend so far. Um, comment below if y'all are watching Ozarks too. Um, we just started watching it like four days ago. Yeah. So four. we started from, um, season one. Yep. Now, I think the newest one that came out is, uh, season four or something. Yeah. So. Yep. And we already, um, uh, what y'all doing? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, he took the paper from his brother. That's and we already it. on season three. uh three, five. But anyway, y'all come in, let everybody know. Uh you get you gonna see Justin Marcel, but before you can see Justin Marcel, you gotta hit that like button and hit that share button. 
Yes. I'm going to sit you back over here, boy. Oh, my gosh. Somebody said it's snowing over there where they at. Okay. Where y'all at? Is it snowing where y'all at? It's not snowing where we at, y'all. It was snowing actually two days ago, but it won't stick. And it never sticks to me in Atlanta. It just my be snowing. My head's still chopped off here. Okay. It's big, Justin. No, you got a big head. No, I don't. That, that is the whole galaxy right here. No. That is. You That's the whole me. galaxy. You talking about me and my sons. I'm not going to let you do that. Oh, Bye. I ain't talking about you. I mean, they my children, too. Anyway. All right, y'all. Drop some. We're going to be on here long tonight. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Uh, especially so we can show y'all the second set of twins. We have 175 likes. I ain't even gonna start talking. Y'all excuse me. I, I don't know what's going on my teeth. Y'all need to hit the like button, hit the share button. You need to. I brush my teeth. No, you don't. You don't brush your teeth. No, whatever. Your breath be stinking all no, the time. No, it don't. Why your toothbrush been dry the last five days? Duh. It must be the timing you went in there. Yeah. Whatever. Because I, I brush my teeth. I ain't gonna do you like I that. Brush my, I brush my teeth. Don't play with me. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, y'all. Hit you the like button. read your text message. You talking about gotcha, gotcha? Yeah, yeah. I read my text message coming through. Y'all, hit the like button. Hit the share button. We had 191 likes. They go 195, 205. Uh, if y'all want to see Justin and Marcel. But listen, I want to jump on here. We wanted to jump on here real quick uh, because we wanted to answer any questions that you guys have uh, about relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, then what was you talking about now? You said you had something to tell us tonight. What did I have to tell y'all? You said you, I don't know. You said you were going to share something. What was they going to share? I don't know. Y'all drop some questions down below uh, uh, and let us know. Um, drop some juicy questions. That's all we got tonight. Because mm -hmm. you ain't bring no topic for me. No, I didn't. Well, I didn't know. You said something about, I don't know what you was talking about. But anyway. What? Um... Anyway, I don't know what yeah, you Yeah, you acting like you all like ain't nobody caught you off guard. I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about I caught you off guard. Talking about I caught off guard. I'm caught off guard. Come on, when you gonna be on guard? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Listen, tell tell your neighbor, ha, get ha, get on assignment. Get your assignment together. Come come and be ye ready. All right. But yep. what's your thoughts on therapy though? Because a lot of people they're like they're in relationships and um now I, I've seen a lot of people, even people in the chat, they asked the question. They were saying like they want to go to therapy, but their spouse doesn't want to go to therapy. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because a lot of times what we do is we find that like the woman might want to go to therapy, but the man doesn't want to go. Nine times out of ten for prideful reasons, they don't want nobody in their business, they don't want nobody trying to tell them, you know, mm -hmm. regulate their relationship. But I mean, what's your what's your thoughts? Should you try to Get your husband a gut. Like, what can you do? You know. Well, we 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 never have been to therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, has it been rough? Yes. Are there hard times in relationship? Yes. I think when it comes to therapy, the person there are some people that are prideful. There are some men that are prideful, and there are some women that prideful. Because mm -hmm. not just is it that men don't want to go to therapy. Mm -hmm. Some. Wives don't want to go to therapy. Right. But then you have to come to the, uh, there's another perspective, is the therapist qualified? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because everybody, everybody say they're going to a therapist, the therapist may not be qualified. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't a therapist be qualified? I'm kind of, because I mean. I guess they, you got to make sure that ther you got to fill them up. Even though they may have degrees, they may have them, you still need to, it's just like going to a doctor. If you ain't, if you ain't rocking with that doctor, I've been to a doctor, if I ain't rocking with the doctor, it's something off with them. I don't think they know their stuff because just because you got a degree don't mean you know your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because education and then physically dealing with it is two different things. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure even with that, making sure the therapist is qualified. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because your mama went to the same therapist, that don't mean the therapist gonna work for you. Mm -hmm. Just because that bob or that hairstyle work for you, it may not work for me. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So making sure the therapist is qualified, and then as far as people's pride, that's a big that's a big reason. Yeah, that's a big reason. Yeah, I mean, I think therapy is really good. I think if your spouse doesn't want to go, you just have to go by yourself. You gotta go by um, yourself and see, and keep praying that they gonna come. Mm -hmm. And just see what it is that. Um, you know, you can learn from the therapy by yourself. Yeah. And then maybe the therapist can give you some tips on how to get your um, but to be and, and I would say this, too. A lot of you need to go to therapy. But I think, too, we live in a generation we was talking about one time how you difference between me and you we're different mm -hmm. you come from a generation y'all i mean not generation but family mm -hmm. your and, and 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 your mom and them you know when y'all upset each other y'all might send a text to each other mm -hmm. y'all may send a letter to each other mm -hmm. well we ain't gonna do that on the jackson side we're gonna mm -hmm. either call you say what we got to say and we're gonna lay you flat out 
That's that's what we're going to do over here. And that's where it don't work with us sometimes because when we was first dating and even in marriage, Mahogany, she had something she wanted to get off her chest. You would send me a text. <laughs> I don't work well with text mm -hmm. because the problem is the reason I don't work well because when I'm reading it, I don't know how your my emotions are changing with me. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 either you better talk to me, you better send me, a, don't even send me a voice, you talk to me face to face. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. I will say that is one thing that's important, establishing the right form of communication. Mm -hmm. I do say, though, even on your side, yeah, your people do say something to you, but they are very rude. So imagine yeah. talking and to somebody that's rude, rude. like every time. <laughs> 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 now, Yeah, because you, because you, Mahogany's a very, she's, she's one of the most compassionate people. You can say something wrong to her, she's going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, cuss you out, and tell God to bless you, your life like never before. I'm just going to cuss you out. I got to say what I got to say. So we're diff different. So when she said rude, when I was being rude, oh, I know times when she felt being rude, I was just very direct. And y'all, one thing I know. <laughs> So we can say that for the live. <laughs> but I was I was very direct. We can say that for the live. I'll I was give very you that direct. That's what I prefer. It might be rude. <laughs> I'll give you that for the live. I'll give you that for the live. We'll we'll keep it right there for the live. <laughs> I was very direct. So you just because your family ain't like that. Y'all don't say what you got to say off your chest. <laughs> to me, it helps you live longer. You just say what you got to say. And then you just, you ain't being rude, but you just state it how it comes to your mind. That's not being rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you live there, okay? If that's where you want to live. Oh, tonight. God. <laughs> Hit the like button, hit the share button, let everybody know. If somebody's marriage is in trouble, they need to be watching this. Somebody's relationship is in trouble tonight, they need to be watching this. Somebody's friendship is in trouble tonight. Not only does your marriage need to go to therapy, not only do your relationship or anything that in your life, sometimes usually you need to go to therapy. So this is your therapy session tonight. Get in the room tonight. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Drop a comment down below right now. Hit the like button. We had 150 likes. Let's get to 200. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We had 162. So... That's my thoughts. I'm just, you know, so that's what we use to bub heads. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to say, I say all that to say this is the fact that some people say, oh, we need to go to therapy. They skip, you know, instead of even talking about it, they go straight, they want to go straight to therapy. Some of y'all, you know, we grow up in a generation too. Yeah. We grow up in a generation where everybody texts everybody. There's no communication anymore. Mm -hmm. There's there are literally older people that I know that are scared of confrontation. And some of y'all, when I when I talked about this, some of y'all need to talk. Y'all, some of y'all need to do some addressing. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to do some addressing in this season because y'all running from the issue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes to me, people rush to therapy, but the question is, have you talked at home? You know, have you truly sat down and talked the same thing? You're going to talk because all you're doing, the, the person is going to be the moderator. Yeah, but sometimes I will say therapy is important because like I said, yeah, it ain't important. People, I'm not a nothing. lot of people, sometimes you need a moderator because even you have people in your life yeah. that you cannot talk to. That's the truth. Because they will not listen and they do not. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like. So I some definitely people, some get, people need to moderate I, me. Listen, I definitely get skipping, you know, like if you try to talk in person and it does not yeah, work. I'm saying trying. I yeah. think I'm saying there is a percentage of people I think that are going through relationships. They said, well, we gotta go therapy, but truth is you haven't sat down and talk at home. Because we've had incidents in our marriage where we've been married, and I'm like, and you be thinking I'm feeling a certain way. I think you feel a certain way, but we just ain't talk. You know what I'm saying? Because we grow up in a different we don't talk. We just keep on going. We talk about everybody else and every, everything else. But the fact is we're not talking about the issue. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I encourage you, wherever you're in a friendship, relation, whatever it is, stop running from confrontation. Don't be 60 years old and you're still running. You need to learn to stop and have a, con a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then if it ain't working, go to therapy. Yeah, and a lot of people, it's crazy. They hate confrontation. And you got to understand, confrontation is part of healthy communication. Yep. You're never going to 100% agree with somebody. You're never going to be always able to say yes to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. And for that reason, you have to understand how to um, communicate. Somebody said, Mahogany, I need that book. You can go to my uh, website. I'm not the guy. Or you can go to uh, the link in my bio and um, get my book. But it's like, um, 
I'm sorry, what was I saying? But basically, yeah, you have to be able to um, not want to avoid uh, conversation. I literally know somebody right now that to avoid conversation, they'll always say yes, that, yes to stuff, yes to stuff. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I can do that. Because literally they're scared to say no. And literally, sometimes you have to say no. Like, it's not going to hurt somebody's feelings. Like, can you do this? No. Okay. Thank you. I was just asking. So, you know, some people are so scared to just say no or so scared to disagree with somebody or just so, you know, confrontation is a part of healthy communication. Everybody's not going to agree with you. Everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to understand. But it's so important that you don't avoid confrontation, um, to say the least. So, yeah, but um, I will say that therapy definitely is is important. It's an essential piece. Some people, uh, I think T.D. Jake said it one time. He said, you know, back in the day, people didn't go to therapy. But now, p therapy is needed because we have more stresses in today's time than, you know, there was back then. So, yeah. if you need somebody to help you regulate your emotions or help you talk to your thoughts, there's nothing wrong with that. Go to therapy, even if you have to go by yourself. Um, therapy is just definitely important. You going to get my lower? Yeah, he's over here looking. What, what's y'all's thoughts on that, though? And therapy is important. Um, <laughs> somebody said, I know you got kids by the looks of the blinds. Oh, yeah. Um, they, they kids between, no, this is actually, these blinds y'all see toe up like this behind us is actually the cat's doing. Mm -hmm. The cat was so determined to see out the window. He, we have this cat is literally smart. That he ripped the whole, he cut the whole piece out the blinds, mm -hmm. all nice and neat. Yeah, he literally made like a, a square, y'all, so yep. he can look out the window. Yeah, y'all pray for them blinds back there, because mm -hmm. I ain't replacing them, because I'm moving. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And Shadow ain't moving with me. All yeah, right. I didn't agree to that. Huh? I didn't agree Shadow to that. ain't coming. I didn't say that. Though. No, Shadow, we got to part our separate ways. Mm -hmm. Got to mm -hmm. part our separate ways. Um. So that's just that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what's your thoughts on like when it comes to friendships and stuff? Um, we, you know, how important you can't have this communion. How Don't important are, how important are friendships to you and you know, different things like that. How important friendships. Friendships in this season, you know, I I've got and, and a lot of people they're looking for friends, um, and you know, they're trying to build healthy friendships, mm -hmm. trying to let go of some toxic friendships. I would say as you when you especially once you find to me, you know, we've married now, I think, you know, too, you are my best friend. I wish I could say the same. Okay, that's no, fine. No, you know that's fine. Listen. Oh, shut up, Justin. Let, let me know. Let me know, cause you know all play. I lays you out. But anyway, uh, you got to just find people that you can connect with in this season. Um, sometimes you know when you got a significant other, that's your best friend. But you know you can. Some people have other best friends too. I fortunately, since I have kids, my wife. That's it. <laughs> but you know, if you do have best friends, you need to find someone you can talk to. Find a new circle of people. If you mm -hmm. hang around with people like they say, everybody broke, you're going to be broke. If everybody lazy, you're going to be lazy. Get in a new circle mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, find relate, uh, friendships that are valuable. Yeah. You know, when I sit down with people and I go out to uh, eat with people and stuff, even now, I find um, relation, uh, friendships that are valuable. Basically, you can take from me, I can take from you, and that we're growing together. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't sit around people that ain't doing nothing. You know? I, I, I've gotten to a place now, I got a friend that he just ain't doing that, ain't treating his wife right, he lazy, don't want to work. We can't be connected, bro. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you don't, you're not going where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You know, so find relationships that are, find friendships that are valuable. Yeah, somebody said a few questions. What's your thoughts on me having male friends and what's my thoughts on you having female friends? And then somebody said, do you and your spouse have to be best friends? Um, um, which one you want to answer first? Okay, let's start with the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, what's your opinion on a, a couple having opposite? Not, a couple, not well, well, the individuals. The yeah. individuals having. Well, how do I feel about husbands having female friends, yeah. wives having male friends? I'm not a fan of it. Um, do I think that every male friend? Oh, or say my husband had female friend. Do I think every female friend is gonna try to give my husband? No, mm -hmm. but I'm just not a fan of having. Uh, um, my partner having female friends that I'm not also friends with. Um, like for instance, we have one friend that um owns like a movie store studio, and her and my husband are friends too. But we're mutually friends. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we mutually are friends. I'm talking. About, I'm not okay with my husband having just a friend that I'm not. We're not friends with. Like mm -hmm. like he has male friends. Take for instance, I, I don't know if you want me to name one of your friends, but yeah, he has a know. friend named Ike or whatever. I don't talk to Ike. He talks to Ike all the time. They're on the phone and everything. Mm -hmm. See, that's a friend that's just his friend. When I see Ike out in public, I'm like, hey, Ike, how you doing? 
I wouldn't be comfortable with him having a female friend like that. I don't talk to him. I don't know them. Y'all have a conversation like I. I just am not okay with that. Yeah. No. What's your thought? That's the same way. I mean, if you're going to be friends with the opposite sex and you're married, it needs to be a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't get. I can't. I can't wrap my mind around why would you be best friend with somebody. You know, that like, oh. that's not friends with your wife or not friends with your... You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. This needs to be a mutual friend. Yeah, if it's an opposite um, sex, for sure. I don't agree with that. And then, I have met... And one thing I would say, that is common, too. And I think it's very respectful. Because I've been on the phone with, uh, with one of my mentors. I put it like that. I can say his name out. But one of my mentors, and I had I had to go out there to take the stove or something. They was moving the stove furniture. And shh. <laughs> moving the furniture and uh he was like hey where'd justin go mm-hmm. because he didn't feel comfortable yeah just talking to you yeah so i think it's, i think it is i think it needs to be a mutual friend and then you know but I, I don't i don't think it's gonna work when it's yeah like oh justin i'll be back i'm going out with mike today oh no <laughs> what you doing with you and mike I because i think there's a to me when you become I, I just think it doesn't work to me Mm-mm. To me, it opens. To me, it's like, to, in my opinion, a boundary could be broken. There. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then what was the second part of that question? It was uh, I said, uh, okay, okay, that's a good question. I'm gonna get to that too about your husband storming out the women stuff. Um, and now the second question was about does your spouse have to be your best friend? Now I think your spouse needs to be one of your best friends. Mm-hmm. I think. If you just have, I think it's just healthy for you and your spouse to be one of your best friends. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to say your spouse has to be your only best friend because in life you need. Now, me and my husband, we've been through so much stuff together and stuff, and just we move and we just have a lot that we do and stuff. So we are each other's best friends, but it's not. It's not. We're not saying it's not normal to have your spouse as a best friend and then have. Um, other best friends too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you need female best friends. Say you got a mom. Say you're a mother. You might want another mom best friend where you can talk about mom things, and you know you might want another best friend that's a wife where you can talk about being a wife. You know, it's some things you can talk to your spouse about everything. I talk to mine about everything, but you know sometimes you might want a female's opinion, you know, or a male's opinion, and there's nothing wrong with that or nothing unhealthy about that. So yeah, I think I think in my opinion because I, I, I tell because some things. As a what a woman goes through, a man will never will. And what mm-hmm. a man goes through, a woman will never will. So I think you still should have. I think you should, if you do have, uh, you should. One of your best friends should be your spouse, but another best friend should be a person that is the same sex as you, that's very close, that can also hold you accountable as well as your wife or your mm-hmm. husband. Son, that you know, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. So, cause I do believe, cause I, I always tell them how you know connect with other women mm-hmm. and. I connect with because it's something in brotherhood and sisterhood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, put it like that, that certain things can only be done in, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, make sure you guys start what you're doing and hit the like button. Also, send in your questions. Somebody said, what did, how do you feel about a lady pastor exchanging her phone number with your husband? They're both pastors at the same church. Who both pastors? Her husband and the lady pastor uh-huh. that exchanged her number with your husband. Her husband. The lady pastor changed her number with a male, some a male congregant. No, a male pastor, but that's somebody else's husband. Oh, so did she got a husband? I'm I don't know. She didn't say. So she just said lady pastor changed her number with the male. With her husband, but they're both pastors. Is the, is his wife a pastor? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, that's. I mean, that's a little. Di- that's I think that's a little like a different business. because that's more career. That's yeah. That's colleague. Mm, exactly. Uh, yeah. You know, that's colleague. If you are, uh, you know, even in business or whatever, the same thing for business. Whether you're a minister, or whatever, uh, entrepreneur. If you have like another realtor exchanging, real, you know, yeah, with a not- male realtor, that's that's fine. That's more of a colleague situation. Oh. Still have to set your boundaries in, you know, with yeah, a colleague make sure too. Yeah, nothing like you know. Yeah, because some people still trying to oh. <laughs> screw you at work too. Yeah. Um. Somebody said, "What? What should I do?" Every time I have a conversation with my husband, he always yells and then storms out the room. Um. Uh, oh, you, you got me. Yeah. Okay. Marla, what wrong? You look for your pen. Oh. Right, he's sleeping. He got his own bed. Don't ask questions. Oh, my Milo, he gotta go. Sleeping. No. Um, so what was the question? The question was, um, 
What was the question, Justin? I don't know. I forgot the question, y'all. What was the question? It just slipped my mind. That day gonna quit. Um, but oh, if your husband stormed out the room, sorry. But yeah, I mean, I think that's another. In that case, you know, you might need to do some kind of therapy or something because y'all are having a hard time even just talking. You know, so maybe y'all need a mediator, somebody that can you know, help you be able to voice what you're trying to say to your partner and then help your partner be able to voice what they need to say to you because it sounds like they have some kind of communication problems. Oh, yeah. Anytime you having a conversation with somebody and you're not yelling and they have to start yelling, regardless of what you say, regardless, if you're having a calm tone and you say, well, listen, I don't like your shirt. Somebody can either just say, well, I mean, this ain't a shirt for you to like. If they have to go <laughs> up 10 levels in their voice and everything like that, that's a sign that they don't have good conversation skills. Mm -hmm. If somebody has to punch stuff and storm out the room, that's a sign that they don't have good communication skills, regardless of what they say. Now, if you raise your voice, then you can expect somebody else to raise their voice. But if you're mm -hmm. having the, the same level voice, then, you know, that's a bit much. What was your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that, yeah. You got to, uh, <coughs> I was in a conference a couple years back. Went to a class and the teacher said, if you have to lose your lose your calmness, if you have to act out of character or just start hollering, hollering shows that you don't have control. Wow. Hollering shows that you don't have control. Because if you have control of a situation or you're the bigger person, you don't have to do all that hollering. Mm-hmm. When you holler and you show got to get out of character, so to me, you don't have control. Mm -hmm. I, I think the best is I've learned something best in life when I have to, I, when we all, we always run into somebody, me and my husband, we out, and, we, and I got to end up addressing somebody, mm -hmm. and I address them in the most calmness, bougie, nasty way. I don't got to holler, but I'm going to make you be mad because when I'm done with you. You remember that time we was at that old day? That lady, and that lady kept on trying to tell me about the pot. No, don't tell me about pot. This is talking about what you did wrong. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you ain't got to get loud. So, if he loud storming out the room, baby, he, he need to get that together. He need to grow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't, I didn't holler and storm out the room, too, but turn around going back. Because <laughs> it ain't going to change nothing. Listen. The situation, a lot of y'all hollering and, 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 and storm, storming out the room like that going to change nothing. That ain't going to change nothing. Tell your neighbor, address the issue. What we got? Somebody said, with my husband, he don't know how to talk. It gets ugly. I agree with Justin. People holler because they don't have control. That, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's important. Um, yeah, you, you got to, in this season of your life, and everyone that's listening to me, you got to learn how to communicate. Mm -hmm. All that hollering, that slick stuff, even though it sounds good, it's good to get off your chest. At the end of the day, there has to be commun for communication for anything to work. Mm -hmm. You know, I, my wife, she'll, I'll be walking around the house and my heart will cut in. She'll say something. I don't know what she's talking about. I might be over there talking about... I might be over there talking about how the day of Thursday is. Mm -hmm. She might be talking about something that happened in 1922. And I have to say, what are you talking about? What, what, what are you saying? You know, I have to even ask her, what are you saying? What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure there's clear communication. Mm -hmm. Now, don't just assume. That's what's wrong with y'all. A lot of y'all get in relationships and friendships and, and become partners with people because, and you think you're just assuming it's going to be like this. I'm just assuming it's going to be like this. Listen, ignorance is not an excuse. You need to stop assuming. Mm -hmm. You need to stop assuming and make sure you both are on the same page. That's what's wrong. Y'all getting in relationship, y'all in head kids now. He he going out there cheat or he doing what he want to do is because the fact is there was an assumption that he was gonna do this. Come on, y'all got to stop assuming. Mm -hmm. What did you just say? What? <laughs> what? What did you just say? I said assuming. Oh, I don't know why I thought you said something else. Uh-oh. No, but um, also, too... Oh, thought I was about to say something about that wondering bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's how I was like, what? No. Um, and as Mike said, what do you what do you feel about somebody... You've been in a four-year marriage and your ex, a past ex, reach out to you. Um, I think that you need to leave that ex where they at and oh. leave them in the past. Yeah. I, I, I said that one time. Just because your past calls doesn't mean you have to answer. Mm -hmm. Do you answer every time a number call your phone that you don't know? Mm -hmm. Just because 
somebody because the reason they reaching out to you and I think you told us this you went to a you went to a conference not too long ago mm-hmm. and they asked the man he was uh, I can't think of his name Tyler Lapel mm-hmm. was his name they asked him Tyler Lepley Lepley Tyler Lepley that plays in uh I don't know if shows uh, but on well I ain't got nothing to do with it ain't none of my business but he said something that's very private that women mm-hmm. asked him they said when a when a, when a man reaches out to a woman from the pair of ex. Mm-hmm. What is he doing? Mm-hmm. And they said he answered. He, ba- he basically saying it's seen if the access is still there. Yeah, do they still that, have access to you? The access to not you. Not even about wanting you back. They want to know are right. you? If they hit you up, are you gonna respond? Yeah, yeah. Do they still and, have the same power that they had then? And that's and that's a lot of people. That's not just even relationships. That's people that you used to be friends with. They reaching out to you. Hey, how you doing? The same ones reaching out to you, mm-hmm. asking you about something was the same ones that were talking about you. I see it. I got so many people in my inbox. My heart got me in her. They be asking, us, oh, how you do a website? Don't ask me how you do a website when you would just stand dark with my name. Mm. Because I'm a fun, I'm a very, I, I'm, I'm a person. If I see you like the stat, you ain't even here to comment. If you like the stat, that basically you are liked, you agreed what they said, you accepted what they said, and you joined the bag with it. So don't be in my inbox asking me to help you. Come on, somebody. Listen, I, listen, I, I don't remember what people say, but I remember people's actions. Come on. Mm-hmm. That's what y'all got to remember. Listen, you may not remember every word that come out of their mouth. You not, you may not remember how they uh, talked about you in which way, but you will remember how they treated you. And some of y'all need to remember how people treated you. And once you, and, and why I say all that to say what? What was that? What were you saying? Um, I went on a tangent there. You were saying basically, oh yeah, I'm ha- you late, but you here, Kimberly. I need you to take some comments out too. Thank uh, you, sis. But, um, yeah, yes, but you were basically okay. saying about how people treated you, you know. Yeah, how people treat you. You got to remember how they treated you. You can't forget that. Mm-hmm. I ain't got any how you treated me. Because you said, you know, about the past and everything. Yeah, but. yeah. And just because your past called doesn't mean you got to an answer. Mm-hmm. Y'all. That's the truth. Um, but what was, I was about to say something else about that, too. I know. Um, I'm drawing blinks to my brain tonight. I don't know if it's because it's later or what. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, so that's pretty much that about that. that answer some more. Any more questions y'all got? Um, comment them down below, and mm-hmm. we'll make sure that we answer them. But it's so much. It's so important that you have healthy communication in the season. Mm-hmm. Now, what about love languages? Because what's your thoughts on that? I seen somebody talking about. I think it was actually Pastor Keon or something. Uh-huh. He was talking about the importance of knowing your spouse's love language. Mm-hmm. Somebody keep asking why do men lie about cheating? Okay, go but ahead. We'll answer that later. But um. What's your thoughts on love languages? Um, That's in the anything love language, how you want to be loved, all that has to be communicated. You cannot assume what is your love language. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We we talk about oh he don't know my love language. He maybe he don't tell him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to communicate all that. What if you tell that? your special love language but they don't do it? Mm. Somebody, I saw somebody. I saw it was a Keon Henderson. Somebody, somebody, but they said also. Just like you need to know your spouse's love language and use that love language, you need to know the way your spouse wants you to apologize and apologize that way as well. So if I know... If they, if they don't know, how, how are they going so to do So they were basically saying if you know... Say, for example, this example I think they use. They said if you know your spouse appreciates when you apologize to them by giving them affection. So saying, baby, I'm so sorry about what I did. You know what I'm saying? That's how you need to apologize to him. Don't come bringing him a birthday cake. Hey, you want to go out to eat today? Because they don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like using that love language in your form of apologizing as well. So you have to communicate the apology. But basically, you're saying from that standpoint, you have to communicate your love language. You have to communicate the way you want to be apologized. But then I ask you a question. How much does your apology cost? Mm-hmm. Because some people may not want to apologize to you because... Maybe sorry ain't enough for you. Then you must ask the question because everybody's not like you. Mm-hmm. Is your apology overpriced? That's a good question. Um, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So is your apology overpriced? Because <clears throat> what are you wanting out of this? Mm-hmm. Do I gotta bend over backwards? Do I gotta I, do I gotta bow to your manipulate ways for you to be apologize for me to accept my apology? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so I guess what is the said, cost of your apology? You have to ask these questions. Yeah, and I mean, 
I guess we can go to that one next. Um, I guess we could just start at the love language, knowing the people's love language mm -hmm. and how important it is to know your spouse's love it, language. It's very important. Um, it's very important. I think because I think if you know your spouse's love language and you continue to speak in their love language, you'll have a successful marriage. You yeah. know, I think I think a lot of times we. Um, Somebody said, that's a good sermon topic. Is your apology overpriced? Is your apology um, overpriced? But, yeah. We, but as, as far as the love language are concerned, I think some people, they know their spouse's love language, but they mm -hmm. do the love language that's convenient to them. Yeah. Some people are lazy. <laughs> <laughs> some people are plain lazy. And, and, and they may know. You might say, I've expressed my love. They're lazy. I'm sorry to say. Some people are lazy because they'd rather take the, you know, the quick way and get it done and not do it. Mm -hmm. And that's a that, and, that, and that's what marriage is. A marriage is a sacrifice. We could be speaking about marriage tonight. Marriage is a sacrifice where you have to, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice you every day. Not just one day, every day. See, the ceremony is the good part. That's a celebration. That That's, you know, that's the wedding. But a marriage is getting up every day and sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Come on. See, y'all put $20,000, $30,000 into the marriage, into the wedding, but it's, you got to lay down your life in the marriage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you find a lot of marriages in because people don't want to lay down their life. Yeah. You don't want to sacrifice. Right. A lot of people want their cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. So you got to be willing to sacrifice every day. Yeah. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Um, and I think... Like you said, communicating mm -hmm. that to your spouse, what you're looking for, and um, them doing it, I feel like it can go a long way. But like you yeah. said, some people are lazy and they just don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. And that's the same way with the apology. You can the lead a horse to the wall, but you can't make them drink. And that's the same thing with the apology. It's like, um, you can tell them how you want them to apologize, but if they don't want to do it, you know. Because mm -hmm. you're like you, I can tell you, I'm sorry. Mm hmm now, and this is what me and you, because we've had conflict. I can say I'm sorry to you. I can say I'm sorry. To you, to me, that's fine. Mm -hmm. To me, you I may have. Put me on a, but no, because no, no, you got to put yourself in it. No, I'm to me, that's fine. To me, I feel apologetic. But to you, one thing what I know is with you, you like a little bit more affection. <laughs> You can't. I can't just say I'm. I'm sorry and move on. <laughs> you want me to stop, settle in it. <laughs> you want to explain why I'm sorry. <laughs> Write an essay. Not true. Preach a little sermon, and then in the end, give you a big hug and slap your booty. <laughs> That's you. I can't just say I'm sorry. You can't. So what? What? How do you? I got to know. I know you though. If I say I'm sorry, I know you sorry. Walk on out the door. I feel that y'all said I'm sorry, but you not. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Did you know? So, everybody has their own way. That's the truth. That's yep. the truth. Um, <coughs> I, I, I definitely agree. And that's why it's so important to know what your spouse's um, love, language. love language is and how yep. they want you to apologize. You got to know. You got to know. Now, somebody said... Somebody okay, this person be emailing us about them five or thumbnails. Right. You can send an example of your work to our email, okay? All right. Me and my husband togetherness got in so much stronger when we, when he saved my life. He gave me CPR. He found me face down in the bathroom, dead with a huge blood clot. It went to my heart. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, man, that's an amazing story. Yeah, that was. He amazing. must when he kissed you, he sealed it. That's that. I that's, know when he put them lips on that CPR. That's he it. said, "This shall be my wife." That's crazy. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a beautiful story, yeah, though. He, I don't know what he was doing there. He must was doing CPR and kissing. I don't know how he got that to happen, but okay. You are so crazy. All right, y'all. But listen, we ain't going to be on before you uh, any longer tonight. Listen, we love y'all so much. But I want you to, if you didn't catch anything else tonight, I guess my piece is tonight, I want you to know you got to communicate. Mm-hmm. I believe therapy is, is good for you. God is good for you. But sometimes, at the end of the day, we need to get back to some of the simpler thing is communication. Mm -hmm. The reason your marriage is failing, you really, the reason your relationship is failing, reason your life is failing, because you don't even communicate to God. Mm -hmm. In this next season of your life, you have to learn to communicate. You have to learn. To communicate. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to make sure you're doing the communicating in your relationship. 
in your marriage, communicate to God. The Bible, what does it say? Uh, speak those things as though they are. Mm -hmm. In this next thing, you got to speak out your mouth. Some, the most powerful weapon that a lot of you ain't using is your mouth. Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, I told somebody one day, I said, what that mouth do? What that mouth do? Mm -hmm. I asked you that when we, before we started. Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> What that mouth do? Listen, I know you can praise. I know you can listen. I know you can praise. I know you can make love. But can you pray? What they say, can you pray? What does that mouth do? Can you communicate? I know you like me. I know you like to kiss me. You could somebody, somebody got to ask these questions on the first day. I know you like making love to me. I know you like putting them lips on me. But at the end of the day, is can you communicate? Mm -hmm. Just because you can make love to me, can you express how you feel without hollering? Mm -hmm. Just because you can make love to me, can you express loving me and not loving me and not getting mad and walking out the room? Mm -hmm. Can you express loving me without putting your hands on me? Come on. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to ask these questions. I know you, I know I look good. I know you want to tap this. I know you want all of this. But can you love me and not hurt me? Mm -hmm. Because love doesn't have to hurt like that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on, come on. Love doesn't have to hurt like this. So can you love me and still, when in the tough times and rough times, can you communicate? Mm -hmm. Because it is dangerous to be in love with somebody in the bedroom. But they can't even speak to you when it's over. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because, and, and, that, and that's the things you have to look for when you're dating a person. You, you don't just look for all of the good times because they're going to be good times and bad times. The question is, when you take them on a date, listen, I got to ask you, how do you deal when times get rough? Are you, are you a person that cuts everybody off? Are you a person that doesn't like, uh, does not like confrontation? Mm -hmm. Are you a person that does not like communicating? Do you just shut down because the life we're going to build, the children that we're going to have, the businesses that we're going to have, baby, communicating is not, not communicating is not an option. Mm -hmm. Come on, but I'm talking, I, me and my heart, we meet so many people and relate to about, I ain't talked to my spouse in four weeks. We living in the same house. We ain't had sex in four weeks. You ain't had what? You ain't you ain't talking. No, baby, you got to be able to communicate because that's what the enemy wants. The enemy wants. He's not after your 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 love, your love life in that bed. He know that's good. The devil know he can't get between that. He the devil's after your communication. Mm -hmm. How do I know this? Let's go to the word of God. God said I can't remember. It was in Genesis when they were building the tower. And they were building the tower. They were trying to build it all the way to heaven. That's when God changed their languages. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't communicate on how to build the tower. Mm -hmm. That's what the devil's trying to do. The devil's trying to stop you from building your empire. He's not stopping it in the bedroom. He's not stopping you when everything's high. He's stopping it from the communication. Because if there's no communication of how to build, you cannot build. Mm -hmm. Somebody type on the line, communicate. In this next year, you got to communicate. If you're going to build the empire, if you and your bay, if it's you against the world, it can't be you against the world. And y'all ain't talking. Y'all not on the same page. Do you hear what I'm saying tonight? Somebody sure. shout communicate. communicate. I want you to put that. I want you to say that word while you're typing it. Communicate. I want you to tell your spouse communicate. I want you to speak over your house, your marriage, your relationship, your job, your business. Even the people you working with. The reason y'all got so much confusion at your job is simply because nobody, everybody ain't communicating. Mm -hmm. You got to learn to communicate. The yeah. devil's not after your goodies. He's not after after your sex life, he's after your communication. Mm -hmm. The reason y'all got problem with the kids and y'all can't decide, y'all trying to figure it out is because there's no communications. The kids communicate more than y'all. Mm -hmm. And that's why the kids know who to go to and which parent to go to because you're not communicating. See, that don't happen in my house. Marcel can try, Justin can try, but at the end of the day, they know their dad is standing because there's been communication set in place. We're on one accord. This is what it's going to be, and that is what it is because there's communication. I want you, if you don't get anything else out of tonight, I want you to leave with knowing that you got to communicate. Don't just, don't send no message. Don't write a letter. Communicate. Because even in when you're writing a message and sending a text, it doesn't express how you feel. Communicate. Whoo! In this next season, I gotta communicate. Child, you preaching? I mean, you gotta communicate. But and 
and I, and I know some of y'all watching like, well, I'm communicating. And you are. And then I want, I, and this is the disclaimer. This is the disclaimer. And I got to go tonight because it's late. There are some people that I will never, that don't want to communicate with you. Mm -mm. And if they don't want to communicate, that is fine. Mm -hmm. That's when you shut all off communication. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to convince people to communicate with you. Listen, if they ain't communicate, listen, I don't care how good it is. I don't care how the relationship, if they can't adopt it, listen, you got to, got to cut it because you cannot build the very thing God wants you to build. If you are not communicating, you hear what I'm saying, Bar um, Bateo? You listening I'm too. deep, Anna. I'm you deep. Yeah, that's the truth. Tell your neighbor, I'm just missing communication. If I get that, it'll all work out. That's true. If that just blessed you right then you watch, hit the like button, hit the share, share button, hit that like button. We're at 292. Send us over to 300 right now. Some of y'all, y'all hear you being bougie and stubborn. Hit that like button. I know what I'm talking. If I'm talking, if, 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 if that was talking to you and you saying, I got to learn, start communicating, hit that like button, hit that share button. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Communication is everything. It's yep. everything. Yep. Um, <clears throat> did they say to dialogue, what? So I have a question. I want y'all to. Okay. okay, what's the question? Brittany Brand, make sure you send your question uh, to us. Uh, but as we get ready to go, y'all, um, I definitely want to pray for that tonight. Make sure you guys are watching. In regards to the guy about fiber, you just send us messages, but you have not sent your work. I have not seen no work and nothing. So we seen your somebody, somebody said, I'm fixing to send him a text right now, communication. He fixing to be like, <laughs> I know that's right. Come on, y'all got to get on one accord because that's what the enemy, the enemy is after community. If he know y'all can't talk about y'all's future, he know if he, y'all, he, he, listen, he even got to fight you in the finances. He, God, the devil going to let y'all do what y'all want to do in the finances because your finances will never change because there's no communication. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all can't move in. The reason y'all can't move into that new house house is because there's no communication. Mm -hmm. The reason y'all ain't, 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 ain't got things in order yet is because there's no communication. Mm -hmm. Come on. Some of y'all can be a whole lot further if you simply just open your mouth. Say pre. Tell your neighbor, I got to open my mouth in this next season. Come on, I because I didn't even got to the place even in this life and age and that and that Mahani was telling me something last week and we got to get out of here. But she, you were saying something that was so powerful. She said everything. She says you you read something entrepreneur uh, that uh, a lot of successful entrepreneurs they were talking to you and they were like negotiate everything. They said one of the most things they wish they did, even though they're a successful entrepreneur, but while coming up, they wish they would have negotiated everything. Mm -hmm. Communicate. Listen. Don't don't just take the one answer. Communicate. We got to communicate in this next season where God's taking us. It is very so 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 important. Listen, we got to go tonight. Um, we got a lot of banger videos to drop to y'all this week. Um, so it takes a lot of work on the back end to get things ready. Um, but I want you to do us a favor because I'm praying for communication all over your houses. I'm praying that. Um. That, God, that the spirit of communication will hit your marriage, yes. hit your relationship, hit, hit, your, hit your business. Because y'all got to communicate in this next season. So I want you to begin to put on uh, every household. Let's do tonight. Yeah. Every household by the last name. I want you to type your last name of your family right on the screen real quick. And we got to go. Um, tonight, if your family needs prayer, your relationship, you and your spouse... Your, your significant other, I want you to put your last names or the names of your family members on the screen, your last names right now. I see the Nelson family, the Word, Word the Ward family, the Hurd family. Put the Walker family. Come on, Norris family. Come on, put those Brown family. And as you're typing those, your family's name, I'm praying tonight that God will lay his hand on your family tonight mm -hmm. and that the communication will be there. Um, and I'm speaking this over every family tonight because there's a lot of families. The reason why families are so uh, uh, so much confusion in the immediate families is because there's no communication. Mm -hmm. When when loved ones die, you see a bunch of chaos. Because this one want to do it this way, this one do want to do it that way. And have you ever seen family? They'd be so mad at each other. And simply, it could take care of it all if there was just communication. Yeah. So put your last name of your and just the Young family, the Lynch family, the Thomas family. And we're going to pray. We're going to get out of here. Tonight, Lord, we thank you tonight. 
for everyone that's watching. We thank you tonight for everyone that has taken the time, whether they may be in their bed, on the couch, in their car, at work, at home, wherever they are, God, I ask that, God, you will lay your hands not only on them, but their entire family, their entire household, their entire marriage, and their entire relationship. Amen. That you will lay your hands on them. And God, in this season, that God, you will give us that communication, the ability to communicate. God, give us the ability, even when it's hard, to express how we feel. Amen. God, give us the ability to communicate that. I speak that, God, as your people can begin to communicate with one another, with their loved ones, that, God, you will allow them to build the very thing that you called them to build. But God, I pray that as they communicate, that it won't be in frustration. It won't be out of confusion. It won't be somebody storming out the room again. No, devil, we come against that spirit. We come against the spirit of storming out. We come against the spirit of arguing and yelling. We come against the spirit of, uh, 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 of getting mad and driving off and not talking to each other for weeks. We come against that because, God, we know that's the spirit of confusion. We know that's the spirit of the enemy. We know that pleases the enemy and not you. Because, God, we know at the end of the day, the devil wants to win through our verbal communication. But tonight we come and we serve the kingdom of the enemy um, a notice, an eviction notice that he has to leave up out of our house. That spirit of walking away, that spirit of not dealing with the issue, that spirit of not having communication. I speak right now. It has to leave. It has to leave our house. It has to leave our marriages. It has to leave our families. It has to leave our children. It has to leave our job. The spirit of not wanting to get on one accord tonight. It has to leave. And devil, we serve the devil. Notice right now, you will not have our family. You will not have this marriage. You will not have the ministry. You will not have the business. But instead, we're going to stand flat-footed. And we're not only going to learn to communicate to each other, but we're going to learn to communicate to God. That when the, when the, when the going gets tough, that we won't just sit down and, in a pity party, but we'll speak life to the situation. We'll speak life to the marriage. We'll speak life to the family. We'll speak life to the child. We'll speak life to everything. Because we know that at the the end of the devil at the end of the day the devil doesn't want it but we're gonna speak as those things as though they are right out of our mouth even though when it looks dead we'll speak that it still has life even though when we feel like we're broke we'll speak that we're that we're rich well we, god even when we feel like we're weak we won't just sit there with our mouth shut and sit in depression but we come against the spirit of depression and we will speak that we're more than conquerors we'll speak that we can do anything through christ which strengthens us we'll speak that when we're sad that we have the spirit of joy. No, devil, you won't take anything else from us anymore. But instead, we'll communicate what we need, whether it's to an individual or to God. So, devil, I ask you tonight, get your hands up off the mouths of your people. And, God, I speak that they shall use the very thing that you've given them the ability to do is to speak. And I speak that in this next season of your life, you will speak life to every situation. Communicate. Communicate when it's rough. Communicate when it's good. Communicate when it's well. Communicate over communicate. I speak that communication will overflow in your house. And when you begin to communicate, as you and your spouse get on one accord, everything will get in alignment in your household, with your children, with your finances, in your life. Even when, if you just have a problem communicating to the Lord, I speak tonight. That as you begin to communicate, whether you are driving in your car and you speak that I am healed, I am blessed, I am more than a conqueror, I can do everything through Christ. I'm the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. As you speak those things, I believe God will start moving on your behalf. Speak. And I speak right now that the devil is releasing that hold off your mouth. And God, we shall give your name tonight, the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is in Jesus' name that I pray tonight. Amen. Amen. Somebody type on the line. I'm communicating now. I'm communicating now. Listen, we got to go. I love y'all so much. Did that help you? I hope that helped you.
Um, Did they help you, Mateo? <laughs> yeah, if they help you, hit that hooper thing. Did they help you? The last few messages have really been a blessing to my spirit. How can me? How can me and my family become a member of, the fe of your fellowship? Yes, right, y'all. So we're gonna be doing these lives more because it is blessing y'all. Bless. And uh, make sure you guys tonight hit the super thanks button or the thanks button. You can give if this uh, message, if this therapy moment has blessed. This was this was our therapy moment tonight. Mm -hmm. If this therapy moment blessed you tonight. I want you to hit the super thanks, the thanks button. Mm -hmm. You can also give a cash app, the Jacksons of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And also can go to the jacksonofatlanta.com and give. Uh, somebody put that on the screen, the jacksonofatlanta.com. And you can also give a cash app, the Jacksons of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, but the church, the Anointed Place Church is coming, y'all. We're so excited. Um, we um, are, as I spoke last time, the graphic designers are finishing up what they need to do for us branding. Uh, we got a promo video coming out for the church, but we're going to be gathering very, very soon. We've also been in the process of working behind the scenes uh, with a production uh, a company um, that's going to be doing all the audio and the camera and all of that. Thank you so much. Shout out to Ashley Weather for giving. Um, shout out to you. Thank you for your gift. Um, yes, thank you so much. Give right now, y'all. Hit that super thanks button before we go. Um, but all those things for the church is coming. I'm yes, gonna be I'm preaching. Mahogany is gonna be preaching. Yes, I'm excited. Um, it's a it's 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 not your usual four walls church, but I want y'all to come. We're gonna do it virtually, and you'll be able to come in person here in Atlanta. It's gonna be off the chain. Mm -hmm. Um, listen, I told y'all we might do a lot of comedy. We have fun on here, but at the end of the day, Jesus is showing up real. Okay. Listen, we ain't talking home. about church. I ain't concerned. I'm I'm talking about giving you Jesus. Mm -hmm. Listen, I ain't for all that four walls and traditional stuff. It's a whole nother kind of church over here. So I thank y'all so much for watching tonight. But I speak tonight that God will give you the communication ability. The devil wants it, but I pray that God gives you the communication. Somebody said, might get... Uh, oh, somebody just sent one through. Thank oh, you, Kimberly Scott, Kimberly for giving. Scott. Thank y'all so much for giving. Um, and thank you all. And far as all the people in the negative comments on here, because I'm address y'all all, because y'all want to be addressed. We ain't thinking about y'all. Listen, you can take your comment and you. And I'm sorry, and go to hell. God <laughs> bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Listen, I love y'all so much. Y'all know I keep it real. I can care less what y'all got to say. But those that stick around that want to be blessed, that's what I'm saying. You're going every time you move forward, every time you get where people, they're gonna be somebody that got something to say. But keep doing you, baby. Keep being you. Be that everything that God has called you to be. And watch God bless you. They show enough. They need Jesus. Listen, mm -hmm. I love y'all. I'm your boy, Justin. And I'm Mahogany. This is Mateo. He the last one standing. You gonna say bye? Say bye, Papa. Say bye. Say bye, Tayo. Say bye. Bye, Tayo. Come on. Go on, show me that. Why you look at me? Put that forehead on up there, man of God. Somebody said, uh, what's the name of the cash out? Cash App is the Jacksons hey, of hey, Atlanta. The hey, Jacksons hey, of Atlanta. Hey, you can give right now at the hey, Jacksons hey, of Atlanta. Hey, cash hey, apps. All lowercase. Hey, no hey, numbers hey. or nothing. Somebody, when it popped, we did that. You just did something that made something pop up, but okay. Oh, it was <coughs> um, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what it is, y'all. The Jacksons of Atlanta on Cash App, or you can hit that super chat or super thanks. Yes, y'all. Um, or give thanks button. But it's been nice talking with you guys tonight. Uh -huh. Um, shout out to y'all. And make sure you hit that like button. Keep it locked. Keep it lit. It's gonna only get better from here. Yeah, it's only gonna get better for here. So remember y'all keep it locked. And we're gonna show now. Keep it lit. We out it. Listen, we only wait a hundred K too. I forgot to tell y'all. Y'all better let everybody know in that path. Make sure y'all showing up every morning. Every morning. I want y'all to know. Don't tell them. Don't tell them when you don't know. When is the Jackson of Atlanta uploading? Every Monday every Monday through Friday morning. When you don't see upload, y'all know we coming on live. Mm -hmm. But every Monday through Friday morning, that is our standard time. We are on here every morning by 9.30 a.m. If you ain't mm -hmm. seen us, you're going to see us live. But we coming because we love y'all so much. Listen, we out of here. Love y'all and all y'all haters. Good. Have a good night. Hey, peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>